Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in my series. Uh, my name is Alex Andrews. I've decided to create a tutorial series for tutorials that are more usable in your videos. As there are a lot of tutorials out there at the moment, they're amazing, but they're kind of set up for if people have professional quality footage or other professional programs. And I decided I would create a tutorial series for the general guys who are maybe bedroom editors creating movies who just want to add some cool effects without going into too much detail. Today we're going to be working on a simple text mask to make text look like it's going behind an object. So if I scrub through my timeline, this is the effect that we're going to get. If I play it, you can see this would be very useful for things like titles or perhaps if you're, in my case, create action sports footage. You can use this quite often for introducing riders names or other information like that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I've created a new project and I've imported my footage. So now I drag it down onto this little icon to create a new composition. And I'm just going to cut off some of the excess of this video because I don't want to be working on a massively long video. Okay, so the next step is to create a new text layer. So I'm just going to put my name here. And I'm going to drag it up so it somewhere where it'll fit. Make sure that the bike is going through it. Are we okay? So now what we have to do is make the text appear as if it's being rubbed out or going behind the bike. Okay, so how we do this is we click on the text layer, make sure the text layer is selected and go up to this pen tool. And we're going to scrub through the timeline to a stage where we can start to see the bike. And then I'm going to create two points like that. And I'm going to create one point in the middle, clicking and dragging, that creates these two little points at each side. That means that we can curve our line. Okay, then holding control, I'm going to click and drag this point out to make it match the arc of the wheel. Okay, now making sure I've clicked on the last point again. I'm then going to finish off my mask so it's just the box with the arc. And remember, we don't need to mask the whole bike. We only need to mask the part of the bike that will be interfering with the text. Okay, now the problem here is that we create this mask and the text disappeared. And that's because at the moment our mask is told that only show the text when it appears inside this box. And actually we want it to do the opposite. So we go into this inverted, make sure that's clicked. The problem is now that when we scroll through our text, the mask stays still and doesn't travel with the bike. So how we do that is we click on this little down arrow here. And we go into mask path and we animate that by clicking on the stopwatch. Then we scrub through our timeline, and as you can see there's one keyframe here. We scrub through our timeline until the bike disappears off the other side of the text. We create another point. And this can be done two ways. We can either do it by clicking here, or we can actually do it by just moving our point. Now holding shift, I want to select these first three points because the wheel doesn't actually change size. I might as well keep these three points the same. So I've selected them, holding shift, and then I click and drag these points out so it fits the tire again. Now if I scrub through my timeline, you can see the mask moves. The problem is it's not that accurate. It's moving at a different time to the bike. So at various points within this, between these two points, we have to create new keyframes by moving a mask, just to make sure that in all these points it lines up. You can add as many as you want. Some things need more than others, but this one's pretty good. Like that. Okay, so now we're pretty much we've got something that actually does work. But now there are a few things you can do to make it look more interesting. Now what we do, if I zoom in to 100%, the problem that we have now is the mask has a very crisp edge. But the bike wheel doesn't. And because of the motion blur, this looks a bit weird. 
So what we want to do is create the mark, click on the mask, come to this little down arrow, and where it says mask feather, we want to create a little mask feather. As you can see, we can create a feather that feathers it into the wheel. So I'm going to go for about 18. The problem is now that the mask is actually slightly wrong because the feather comes this side of the mask. So what we want to do is use this mask expansion and adjust it slightly so we correct the fault of the feather. Now if we scrub through, you can see it works pretty well. And another little tip I have for you. When you're using live uh, footage, real footage, text can often look a bit out of place because it's so sharp. So if you just apply a slight blur, so we're going to go blur, pause and blur, we just apply just a radius of one or two, it can make it look a little bit more like it's meant to be there. So we zoom back out so we can see everything, so fit, and bring graphing. Our sequence and AC works pretty well. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you stay tuned for our next video tutorial.